the Clash of Clans commercial. Clash of Clans! I have that game. Level 77 right here. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> but the human really doesn't look like that. I just don't understand why people are obsessed with this game. We're gonna need more barbarians. Yeah. No. I find that insulting. Hog Rider? Barbarian. They're pretty. The Hog Riders are great. They're, they're like one of the best troops in the game. Eat that skeleton. <laughs> I don't, know, don't really get this. You and this army. Class. I don't want that army. <laughs> Download for free. With in app purchases. What was that? Let's talk about Clash of Clans. So, this is so amazing. Question time! Have you heard of Clash of Clans? No. Nope. Yes, I have. I have it. Yep. Uh-huh. I play it very frequently. <laughs> My dad got me into this. Do you play the game? Yeah. Yeah. I'm still playing it. No, I don't. No. Then how do you know about it? Because um, on other games that I have, they advertise stuff. So I'm in the middle of playing a game, and then it just pops up. What is the game about? I guess it's like a fighting game. You're basically these old cartoons, and you just fight. To build an empire and upgrade your town halls to unlock more things. You are the chief of a village, and you try and grow your village. Other people from around the world are mean so they raid you and take your stuff. It's very strategic, giant healer strategy. You could have the giants to uh, pr protect like your wizards and such. I sound really nerdy right now. <laughs> I'm just letting everybody know I'm not good at that game. All they do is come up, destroy all my walls, take all my stuff from my castle, and then they take all my men. That's not fair, because you're not playing to defend yourself. And what would you say is your favorite thing about Clash of Clans? The resources. The money. Being in people's butts. Strategists, like, you can't just randomly buy stuff, and you have to have a good attack strategy and a defense setup. 100%ing a base with only barbarians. <laughs> How much total time would you estimate you have spent playing Clash of Clans? Like five, five or ten minutes a day. 40 to 60 hours. 400 hours. <laughs> they don't really play it that much anymore. How much does your dad play? He plays all the time. Let me explain the two primary sides of the game. One is attacking other players to take their resources, and the other is setting up defenses so people can't take your resources. What do you think about a game that has those two sides to it? Sounds interesting. So is this like the new Minecraft thing that's going on? It actually sounds really cool. It's a lot of fun because you can't just like build up your resources so you get a lot of stuff because people are just gonna take it if you have no defenses. So I have footage of one of these battles. You can see what it looks like in the game. I hope it's not my battle. Wow. So it looks like a Town Hall 6 with max walls. Oh, they have a giant? I'm guessing this guy's Town Hall 6 because he only has level 4 giants. Oh, I see. They use the healing spell in from the cannons. Destroy that. Oh, no. Giants are in. This game seems hard. This is, like, so complicated. <laughs> They're destroying everything. All his coins. The goblins are stealing the resources. Okay, uh, now they're going after the builder's hut. Total damage, 100%. They won. That was a strong attack. That was a pretty good raid. But I eat those for breakfast. <laughs> I saw the purple stuff, and then I saw the green little bar, and then I saw the purple bar, and then I was like, what's going on? I barely understood what was going on. All I saw was little people running around, destroying stuff, and... So Clash of Clans is a free game, but you have the option to buy things to upgrade faster. What do you think about games that do that? Well, I don't like it because it's just like Candy Crush. Hey, this game's free. And then you're in it and you're like, oh, you have to pay this much money in order to do this. And then you're like, what the heck? I thought this game was free. In-app purchases, like, it's a really good way to support a company. They're kind of like lying about being free, but they're also not lying. So I'm, I don't, I'm being pulled both sides. If little kids play it, they won't know like the money, and then so they'll like accidentally buy like hundreds of dollars worth of 
game merchandise. Have you ever paid for something in a free game? No, I never pay for your money. Nope. My dad has a lot. No, I haven't. I just try to like work with what I have. Yes. Yes, and Candy Crush. I spent $5 on my Barbarian King because it took too much time. If you wanted to make an in-app purchase, do you know how? Well, yeah, I would like ask my mom. I'd be like, hey mom, can I buy this? So you wouldn't just buy it with uh, without asking your parents? Mm, no. I, I did this once, because I was like, my first time on an app and then I didn't realize. I bought it with my parents' permission and of course, yeah, I'd ask parents' permission. Duh. Have you ever not asked your parents' permission to buy something? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Which one will give me least in trouble? So this has been multiple times. <laughs> well, sometimes I didn't. Do they know? Do they ever talk to you about that? They get emails. If you did have the password, would you not ask your parents and just buy stuff anyways? No, because I need to warn them first. No. Maybe. No. <laughs> I don't know. Is my mom watching? <laughs> Another part of the game is you can join clans with other people and help each other succeed and even chat with each other. What do you think about the idea of clans? You still have to get parents' permission for that. The kids at school are all like, hey, join Clash of Clans, you can like be part of my clan. I'm already in my dad's clan. It teaches kids that you can just like help each other out. And that's what you're supposed to do in life. It's fun because like I don't have a phone, so that's basically my texting. It's cool, but it's also dangerous because you might not know that person and might be a stranger. There are some people out there that make names and pretend that there are some people when they're not. If you're like, hey, I'm gonna make some new friends online, that's not a good idea. Some people say that kids can't learn anything practical from playing games like this and it's a waste of time. What do you think about that? In some games you are. There are some games besides like math games and learning games that you actually can learn strategy. I've learned not to waste some money and to be careful with it. Most games are like strategic and help you think more critically. You're gaining like how to use things correctly, like managing your resources, managing your time. Will you continue playing Clash of Clans for the foreseeable future? No, I already deleted that. I'll probably get sick of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I will. Oh yeah, yes. Will you now download and play Clash of Clans? No. I would like to and it'd be really fun. No. I don't seem interested. And you shouldn't need, are you kidding? I'm just kidding. I'd rather play like some board games with my parents. But it's free. No, it's not. That brings us to the end of another episode of Kids React. Let us know what game we should react to next. Goodbye, everybody. Go play Clash of Clans. You Clashers, you won't even see what's coming, my level five archers and barbarians, though. Mm.